Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will you know, know how to find this jewel of feline, feline courage deep inside you, little wild boar? Wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Not the TV! Oh no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend! But that's way too dangerous! The Living Stones will surely find out! The last few times it was already risky enough! What? Did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap! Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <laughs> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. <laughs> we're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh... by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Hmm? It'll never work. Mm -hmm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> we're going to go play in the yard. See you later. <sighs> it's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this, the only red thing works. You got me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughingstock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? 
No, Wash! Please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> the girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam, Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. What? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. You're sure not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. <laughs> same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight, Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitch will never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh no, don't tell me that. I'm gonna start to stress. <laughs> all is lost. Mitch is gonna take over my place at the Living Stones and I'm gonna spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you you treated like dirt! Susie? You, Jeannie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no! We're too young, remember? We can't have ideas. Of course you can! And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Well, it's also Mitch's middle name because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam? Go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch <laughs> my TV! Oh no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam, find him something to eat immediately! 
But there's nothing left. Somebody ate everything in the house. And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear. Um, uh, uh, I'll go look in the oven. It didn't burn anything. What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger to you. And if you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Wow, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share it. Share it, share it, share it. No. <laughs> ah! oh, no. Sam! Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, well, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. Huh? I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later. Oh no, my costume. I absolutely have to put my costume back on. Ah, come on, always works on the sixth try. You 
have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. I've got to get out of the house immediately. Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick wash, they're here. Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. We're home. Oh. I hope he'll be okay. Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm going to go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm not going to last long at this. <laughs> Okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> get him, Alvy! We're going to get him, Alvy! Go on faster! <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad! I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! That's good, Alvarez. The fox came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? Hey, <laughs> you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise! And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad! <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like 
crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me, and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Why the golden can? We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him. That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey. That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. How's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, my little fox hunter. I am so proud of you. There he is! Mm. Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap, wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. There's nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the Animal Pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> oh no! I think he's taking us back to the forest! And our costumes!
Stones are back home in the bag. For sure the Living Stones are going to find them when they come home. I didn't realize they were nothing but a bunch of wild animals. They're goners. You, yes. But me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun. <laughs> we're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with the pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside when the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <coughs> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. <laughs> hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! <laughs> Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. <laughs> and your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Hmm? Here's Sam! So fresh! Then there's only one solution. I think the time has come, Sam. I can't. He's my friend. All the good times we had together. What? You ate your friend the acorn? Not even. At the last split second, an enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose. An alpha boar. There was nothing I could do. Yep. Survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. How it happened. <sighs> you, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that. Yeah, well, okay, I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape. <laughs> That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey. Everything okay, Vic? Mm. We may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened to us in the forest? Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Hey! 
In here! Thanks! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed! Those humans are all crazy! Let's cut down the last one and we're off! Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Uh, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Oh, he is too cute. Wow, that funny looking animal lives peacefully with humans? Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Susie, you okay? Well, yeah, but I wasn't able to do anything. The metal monster caught me before I could talk to the bunny beaver. Who are these blockheads? Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> Yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Vic, we're going home! Wait a sec! Take us with you! We want the same life! <laughs> That's the best one yet! It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're gonna try our luck! really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door. And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? Oh. 
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah. Back then, we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm, I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic! And then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun! This cave is enormous! Wow, do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing! Feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, <laughs> come check it out! There's tons more to eat! Woohoo! we go! I'm warning you, if at the count of three you're not out of here, things are... <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. What's this? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Movies right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> You promised me you'd leave! So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But... but your word is worthless, then! You're nothing but a bunch of savages! Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get luster back into your fur! Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles! Huh? <gasps> Ah! Wild animals! Hello? Hello? Is this the animal pound? There are four of them, with bangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. City hunters! Run for your lives! <laughs> in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look, a fox cub. 
That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> can you believe it? He didn't even know it was a costume! <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> Cop! Psst! Don't be so discreet! Go for it! Oh! Yeah. It's not even real! It's fake fur! Check it out! Fake fur? Hey! That's exactly what we need! To pass ourselves off as city animals! Look! There's tons of them in that cave over there! Let's grab some! See, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume! Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double! Oh! Wild animals! That cave is packed with humans. Look! Over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Living Stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say, Say what? what? I never told you this, but... Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and ask me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You home, Vic. We're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey! What's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? Hmm. You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. <gasps> Huh? <laughs> I have absolutely got to find a way to get them out of there! Boy, am I ever starving. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that! Dinner is served! The police! Hey! Her costumes! It's no 
out the police hits the living stones. We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar. It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the living stones will never take us back. Uh -huh. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Oh. An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. <laughs> the TV! Your kibble! You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. It's <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I always feel like an orphan when they go away, even when it's only for a few hours. Yeah, well, now we play hide and seek. Yay! Can I play? Say, can I play with you? Okay, but you get to count first. Mom, Dad. But who are you supposed to be, kid? It's me, Wash! Washington, your son! <laughs> it's true, it's me! Uh -huh. Wash, my little boy! What is that ridiculous disguise? You ashamed to be a fox or what? Uh, it's uh... Wash, what are you... Hey, hi there, how's it going? Remember me? Sam, Sam the boar! <laughs> Here you go. We do the disguises because... Shh! If my folks find out we're living with humans, they'll be furious. They could drag us straight back to the forest, Sam. What's up? Have we stopped playing? Oh, they're so cute. What are your names, little cutie pies? It's us! Eugenie? Susie? What is it with your dressing up obsession, son? It's not an obsession, Dad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fancy dress. Oh, we love fancy dress parties. Isn't that right? <laughs> Is it? I thought we were playing hide and seek. Say, you haven't seen where I live. Wait till you see my lair. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! <laughs> Can you live in a lair like this, son? Where's the mud? Where's the pebbles? Dead leaves? Rotting wood? The utility room. Show them the utility room. It's dark, it's a total mess, and it stinks to high heaven of dirty socks. They'll love it. Hmm? Ah, that's better. So much more like a proper lair. And this is my bedroom. Not bad, huh? Where is your spring? I sure am thirsty. Don't tell me you don't have running spring water in your lair. I hmm? Call that a spring? It's a puddle! Look, the water isn't even flowing. Ta-da! Water on tap. See that, honey? Huh? It's a magic spring. Flows whenever you want. See? Those modern lairs aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Who 
are those two clowns? Wash's parents. And we're obviously not meant to let on that we're living with humans. Are you telling me you have house domestic uh. pets in your last son? Uh, no. Uh, it's, uh, I mean... Honestly, can't you see? It's his little sweetheart. Pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh. There is no way I'm going to let anyone think I'm your sweetheart, okay? You get rid of them this minute or I'll tell them the real reason you're wearing that disguise. Vic, I beg of you, if you do that, they'll take me straight back to the forest and I'll be the disgrace of the family. I want them to feel proud of me. <sighs> if they do believe you're my sweetheart, half the battle is won. You're so beautiful, gracious, intelligent. Not wrong there. Okay, I'll play the game. But if you don't get rid of them fast, I'll take care of them myself. I'm <clears throat> warning you. I, I, I promise, Vic. Thank you. You won't regret this. Little one. <clears throat> Your dad's got a surprise for you! You won't regret this? That's what you said, wasn't it? You'll be so much happier like this. When it comes to comfort, there's nothing like a traditional lair. <laughs> oh dear! When the Livingstones see this, they're not going to be happy! <sighs> Relax! A quick lick of the brush and everything will be perfect when they get back. What happens if they get back early? No, they won't. My folks will be gone soon anyway. How's about a little chicken hunt? Just like the old days. What do you say, son? <laughs> hey, uh, Dad, stop. Why go outside? I've got my own chicken coop right at home. Not bad, huh? That thing? A chicken coop? But where are the chickens? Inside. Just watch my hunting technique, Dad. <laughs> there you go, Daddy O. What is this abomination? Are you trying to poison me, son? Don't you have a proper chicken coop in the hood? Say, fresh meat. 29, 37, 33. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wash, do you know him? Is he playing too? Honey, dinner's ready. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we got to, uh, uh, Vic's got to show off her culinary talents. Vic, honey, can you come over here, please? <laughs> Do your little magic with this hamster. Sorry to say, my little queen bee hates people watching her cook. You'd be better off in the living room. As you wish, Washeroo. Ah. <laughs> now run and hide. Get it? <laughs> Vic, you gotta help me. <laughs> What's that? Hamster on croute, Vic style. Translation, please. Two kibbles, two leaves, and my special ingredient inside. Vic, you are amazing. I know, but never, ever call me my little queen bee again, little washeroo. <laughs> Hamster on croute, Vic style. I'm sure it's much better than it looks. Yuck! It's worse than it looks! This is disgusting! You want to get rid of us, son? Is that it? Trying to tell us we're not welcome? No, I mean, uh, yeah, it's but... It's okay, son. We get it. We're on our way. Yeah, well played, Vic. How did you do that? <laughs> well, it only takes one little drop of cat pee to make even the best food totally inedible. But it is a trick I only pull in absolute emergencies, and the Livingstones will be home soon. Dad, I'm sorry, it's modern cuisine. You're not gonna leave just like that. Give me one good reason to stay, son. Just one. I know, TV. What? What? TV. That thing there, it's the best reason in the world to stay. Huh? But that's Elmo and Sandra. How did they get inside there? Elmo, Sandra? There must be a door somewhere. <laughs> no, it's just a box full of pictures. We even get to change the pictures using this special... Magic box! Stop! Ah, humans! Quickly, we've got to get out of this lair. There's not a second to lose. Stop! 
Ah, don't panic. The humans are trapped. They're inside the box. They can't get out. Are you sure? Dr. Alessandro, we have to operate on Michael as fast as we can. I think I broke his heart. <laughs> humans are totally wacko. See that, honey? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thanks to you, my folks will leave here proud of me. Well, what do we do if they react like Sam the first time they ever watched TV? Yeah, my program isn't finished yet! Don't panic. If I remember correctly, we turned up at the end of the episode. That means we still have a small chance of getting rid of them before the Living Stones get back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come to my arms, my boy. I am proud of you, son. I must admit that to begin with, you gave me a scare. I even wondered if you weren't living with humans. <laughs> but this little box with humans hidden inside, that's brilliant. Congratulations, come son. On, let's go. And be sure to come see us in the forest with your friends. Oh. <laughs> Too late, we're done for. I don't believe it. How wonderful! Honey, have you seen this? Amazing! How did they ever guess it was the annual Woodland Festival? They've given the <laughs> whole living room a makeover! Look! There's even real mud! <laughs> ah, it's the Hendersons! What incredible fox costumes you're wearing! They look so real! Make yourselves comfortable, my friends! The party is just about to begin! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. and Mrs. Henderson, you changed your costumes? It must be said, though, your fox costumes were very fetching. So that was it, your little secret? You disguise yourself to live with humans like some dumb poodle? I'm happy here, Dad. They adore me. I know it's not what you wanted for me, but... It doesn't matter, son. It's been so lovely to see where you really live, Wash. <laughs> it's not how I'd have wanted you to turn out, but if you're happy here, to me, you'll always be my little wild fox cub. Mwah. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguise as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild Bunny Express is ready to go! All aboard! Cheers! Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup... Uh, what? But what's happened here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need space alicious and Arikins to stretch their legaroos. Hmm. Arikins? Space alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. They need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. <laughs> oh, no. You remember the last time we went to the forest? 
here's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too. Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go! When can we go home where it's nice and warm? Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How about we stay the whole weekend? What? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. In the meantime, we could get some shut eyes. Luckily, I planned ahead. One tent in, two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. Well, how about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better! I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys? Girls? Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey! Get out of there! If anybody sees you, living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood! We're off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's got it into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no it's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch. Uh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> oh! Of course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels... <laughs> boars and foxes? <laughs> Head to the car! <laughs> Hear that, my friends? Head to the car? That means we're going home! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Listen! 
The engine's already running. Quick! <laughs> huh? Where are the living stones? That wasn't the engine. It's Vic snoring. Vic! 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 <laughs> oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you? No, well, that's just it. We thought they were up the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where has that dumb car gone? We're, we're lost. Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... <laughs> the Living Stones, quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! And we'll never get to go home again! Look at him! This is one cute bear! So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom! I was so afraid! Oh, Teddy! What a lovely, fluffy teddy bear! What? Look who's here! They found us! Well done, guys! Come and say hello to our new friend! He's adorable! Hi, guys. Welcome to my home. You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you more and more. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be living together. <laughs> Okay, Vic. I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? I warned you! Mmm. Thank you, honey. What a delicious feast! This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friend. <laughs> Perhaps he's not such a cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. Well done, Wash. Good dog. Honey, wait. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're, we're through with stre stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess. You found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time I swear I'll have my payback. Mm, those pine cones are quite good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
Is it edible? Hey, look! Vic and the living stones have disappeared! Uh, maybe that thing swallowed them up! Oh, it's obvious! This is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars! There are stars on the box! Loads of them! Look! Oh, this is going to be fun. Shoot, an acorn with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. Party time! Whoa, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? You're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday! I completely forgot! Don't you realize? No! Yeah. Not those two imbeciles again! I absolutely have to go see her! Huh? She'll be so disappointed! I only want to give her a big hug! Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry! I refuse to let you go alone! I'm your best! You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest! Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Hmm? Wash, someone's following us! Nuh-uh, what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever Dude, you're... Behind the bush! It's Mitch! I know it is! Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> what are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for, uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, sir. <laughs> the quicker we find catnip, the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. <laughs> Don't we know each other? Hmm? Of course. I remember you now. I'd recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go wee wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, <laughs> I recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> You? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're gonna love it. See you later. What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Wait, action! <laughs> wild animals! There are wild animals around here! So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. 
They're like really wild, ferocious. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Quick, we gotta hide. What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on. We're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. Ah! Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? Mm -hmm. I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo. Aw, washeroo as in Washington? A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad. His name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? Oh, little washeroo. Still happy with life in town? Well. There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news, but let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two Lottie da house cats? Yeah, no, what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Dad, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. But it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. You see? Poof, you got it wrong. Wash had a date with the girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstone's house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie! We're the town folk, us! But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But... It isn't even catnip! Come on! Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with the girl. 
We're back! <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for good <laughs> ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Wait, that's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. I answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, my little wash. Uh -huh. Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> Gonna be full of himself. In today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe, two, Dr. Watson, three, Dr. Groove. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Madum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on. The score is going through the roof. We have a winner. <laughs> this is incredible. Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record. <laughs> wow. I have to admit, the boy did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the Grand Quiz Master Champion of all time. Mr. Pullface, who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right, the grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that 
it again. Andy's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final. Mr. Pofay says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that Silly Hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! <laughs> You gotta <laughs> stop being so intelligent, Wash! Huh? Great idea! Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves lit with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh... What do you see here? Uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower! A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Hooray! Wash is an imbecile! Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Povins. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. Uh, I mean, your worst shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volopus Volopus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? 
Masquerade. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see well, this. Well, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? Shh. This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the results of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> you know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too. Even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three! <gasps> hey, did you hear that? Okay. Susie chirp three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> oh! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. <laughs> Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <clears throat> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. 
Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the living stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! Yeah. Flies, perhaps, but flies who love me. <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies. Mm. Quick! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Nest. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to... <laughs> well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Hey! Someone ate my dinner! <laughs> well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah. yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of the... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. Well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. If only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. Let's go! Where are we going? We're abandoning the flies in the forest so that they can't find Sam. Hey, that reminds me of a fairy tale. Faster! Faster! They're gonna catch up with us! Hey, how about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! No! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hey, didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Uh. Help me, my beloved flies! That bear wants to separate us! Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Don't tell me I don't know how to play soccer! Goal! No go! No go! No go! No go! You were lucky!
lucky, that's all. Bring the ball back here and I'll show you who's the star. I don't know why I should go fetch it. You're the one who kicked it. But, Eugenie, you touched the ball last. So you have to go fetch it. There's nothing to be done about it. It's the rule. Okay, if it's the rule. That was no foul. What a liar. That's dogs for you. And you're cheating. You're just making up the rules to suit yourself. Not at all. It's not my fault if you don't like the rules. You see, Eugenie, town games are like that, okay? It's not like in the forest where you can do whatever you like. Well, sometimes I wish I was back in the forest. Chase into the forest? Chase the one. She's our supreme guide! Sweetie Pies, it's dinner time! <laughs> Why don't you go back to the forest for dinner? Come on! It doesn't matter! It's only a game! Oh, that wretched dog! As soon as the supreme guide returns, we'll move into action. <sighs> Mistreat you. It's true, Wash goes too far sometimes, but. Oh, those wretched dogs. Those servile lackeys at the human's beck and call. How dare they abuse yourself? You, our supreme guide! settle this with a carrot tossing contest. If I win, you go and Eugenie stays with us. If I lose, Eugenie goes with you if she feels like it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna show you what real carrot tossing is about. Watch and learn. <laughs> Whoa! With carrot tossing like that, Eugenie won't be going anywhere. Thanks, Wash. Up we go, comrades! But hey, but that's cheating! You're not allowed yes, to- Yes, you are! I know carrot tossing rules all by heart! So, where are we going? To a wondrous, beautiful place. We'll explain later. Not in front of that dumb dog. See you soon, guys! Hey, but Eugenie, you, you can't just abandon your big brother like that! Leave it, Sam. If Eugenie prefers to go off with cheats... You're the one who couldn't stop cheating yesterday, Wash! And you deserve to be abandoned all on your own! No! I'm coming along! I want to join your Pure Relief thing with you! You should join the LLRI instead. The League for Lousy Rabbit Impersonators. <laughs> <laughs> PBLF, the Pet Bird Liberation. 
ocean front. Can we come with you? Pigeons are pets. Come on, that's enough. Let's go. Hang on, they're my best friends. Show a bit of respect. Hmm. All right, they may come with us. The most important thing is the happiness of our supreme you. guide. So where are we going? To the forest, the land of freedom. Huh? The forest? But the forest isn't the land of freedom. It's the worst place on Earth. It's very dangerous. There are terrifying predators everywhere. There is no worse predator than human beings who live in towns. The forest is our salvation. There's no way I'm going to the forest. You are our supreme guide. The only one here who has been to the forest. I beg you, please take us there. Without you, we can never make our dream come true. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> there you go, we're there. Here's the forest. Wow, I love it. Everything is so natural here. We mustn't hang around here for long. We might bump into Mitch. He's right. If he sees us, the gruesome grizzly will never let us go back to town. <gasps> Thank you, Eugenie. Thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Could you take us somewhere with a bit more light, please? It's a bit dark around here. Hmm. Here, is this okay? Awesome! Comrades, at last we are free! Oh, this little trip has given me an appetite. When do we get to eat? Uh, see, in the wild, you have to go foraging for food yourselves. Thank you dearly, Eugenie, for taking care of it. But you've got to learn to get by without me. We've already voted. You're taking care of dinner. What's all that stuff? Why aren't there carrots on the menu? Because carrots don't grow in the forest. Anyway, it's your problem. We're going home. Seba, you are our supreme guide. You are staying with us. If you go, we'll come after you. We know where you live. Get it? The PRLF never gives up. <laughs> So, go find us some carrots and get a move on. <gasps> Don't hang around here. Go back to the Living Stones. It's all my fault. I should have never gone along with them. But you were to know, and I'll never abandon you. A chickenary never deserts her friend. Me neither. But maybe I might just head back to the Living Stones at some point to fetch some. Shut up! I've been trailing you, Eugenie. Zip off your costume and show the PRLF you're not a rabbit. When they discover that you're not their supreme guide, they'll let you go. Wash, you're amazing. But that's no reason to start cheating again when we get back to the Living Stones. Mm. Look, I'm not a real rabbit. I cannot be your supreme guide. Ah, that weird creature has devoured our supreme guide. The lousy rabbit impersonator was right. The forest is full of evil predators. Run away! Not before we retrieve the hide of our supreme guide. Rally round, PRLF! Hmm? Ah! They've stolen my costume! I'm done for! I'll have to stay in the forest forever! No way! This is a mission for the PP! Nice to see you, pals. Thanks, Susie, and thank you, friends. You are awesome. At your service, ma'am. At the PVLF, we stick together. See you soon. Okay, feel like getting back to the Living Stones? There's a soccer match on TV. We can check out the rules. 
<laughs> well, I never. What an incredible punch. Christopher has just floored his opponent. See? No foul. You can tell I'm not cheating. Of course you're cheating. We're watching a boxing match, not a soccer match. You think Gustav, Angelica, and Guinevere got away? Don't worry, little sis. At this time of day, I'm sure they're tucked up nice and warm at home with their masters. You'll see. The four of us are gonna have a ball. I'll take very special care of you. 